All right, so we have a brand new pair of Yeezys, and these are not the 350 V3s. This is actually called the 380. And I'm not really sure why they named them 380 versus 350, but we did get a pair, and I wanted to give you guys my first thoughts of the Yeezy Boost 380 Alien Colorway. Perfect. What is going on guys, Hass here at CollectiveKicks.com. If you guys wanna shop this week's top sneaker deals, check the link in the description and happy shopping. I did post when these dropped as well on Instagram and Twitter and on my website, Collective Kicks. So hopefully some of you guys got through. If you guys did, leave a comment. But this is my first look at the shoe with you guys. And I have, whoa, this is crazy. This is really interesting. This is totally different than I expected. Honestly, just from pictures uh, and pleasantly surprised with what I'm seeing. So, so a lot more details in hand than I uh, anticipated. There's one, and here's a second one. Box part. So the sneaker room's a little different right now. I'm actually redoing my sneaker wall and I'll have a video on that soon. This though, I wanted to get you guys a video on these as soon as I got them, because I'm actually really excited to see how these look in hand and how they feel on feet. So a couple things I'll note right off the bat is they do feel wider than the uh, 350 V2s, and it is kind of an interesting look with the sock-like fit, not necessarily uh, a design that I would have loved to see, because I, I think that that is trending out, in my opinion. It's just something that's not as good looking, at least on my feet, when the uh, sock-like collar is here. But there's a couple details that I wanted to show you guys that are kind of crazy. So the first one is the uh, the lace hole slash, it's actually a little bit sticky on the inside. Looks like somebody went crazy with super glue and just kind of slimed the top like a snail trail sort of thing going across there. Really bizarre look to that, but it kind of dig it actually. It looks better in hand. It looks different in hand than I would have expected, but it looks better I guess than what I expected as well. And the other thing is the knit upper actually has a little bit of texture as well. It's almost like the white section down here was the upper and then they integrated the gray over top of it, but it feels almost incomplete. Like, I don't, I don't know really how to explain it, but it just feels interesting, thicker here, thinner here on the grays. So, but it looks kind of different and I dig it. You have that theme throughout the shoe with the different marbling between the two different materials, the gray and the cream color. Got the rope laces on the shoe and then here's the tag right here. So this is the version that I got. I heard a rumor that the pair that I got from Yeezy Supply is like a shorter run than the one that is dropping on Adidas. I have no idea if it's true or not, but, uh, but that's, I guess, the rumor. And the one that is dropping on Adidas later is gonna be more of a massive release. So I guess we'll see what ends up happening. I don't really care either way. I'm just glad I got a pair of them. The other thing that I think is crazy is the detailing on the midsole. It's something that you can't really see unless you get them in hand. And there's actually two tones to the midsole. It's like part of it like right here is clearer and then this is like more frosted around. It's just an interesting little design that I didn't notice before. And it kind of goes throughout the midsole. I feel like that's something that they can probably do better in future versions of the shoe where it is just more uh, apparent because this is so close together you can't really tell until you get them in hand. The other thing that was kind of interesting is it's not flat as you can see, it has a huge arc up the back of the uh, the outsole. Kind of reminds you of like the Hardens in a way, but I mean it's really, really aggressive. Let me try to turn this down a little bit. Maybe that helps you see the difference in the midsole. You see there's two different tones to it, which is kind of wild, but it arcs all the way up, which is kind of crazy. And then on the bottom, 
look at the different traction patterns. So there's boost, obviously, encased in the midsole, but uh, they have a lot of cutouts on the bottom with the boost. It has a really interesting, like, alien-like design to it, the way that it's kind of integrated on the bottom of the shoe. And then you have, on the inside, it does say Yeezy and Adidas, and then the sock collar, as I already mentioned. On this side of the shoe, you don't get as much of that weird, um, slimy look to the shoe, but there are a bunch of holes all over that section, which does make it look like you can actually lace through any of those holes if you wanted to. So as you can see from this one, not all of the holes actually are visible. So some of them you can use as holes, other ones maybe not, you'd have to poke through them because of that weird goo gloss sort of uh, thing over top of it. All in all, crazy colorway. I gotta see if these glow in the dark though. All right, let's see. We got a black light here. Checking it out. See if it glows. No glow. I thought, I mean, this would have been dope if you called these aliens and they glow in the dark because they look like they would glow in the dark, but they don't. So myth debunked if uh, you thought that they did, they absolutely don't. All right, so I just tried these things on feet and they definitely feel different than the V2s. I will have a full detailed comparison between the two shoes, but it's really, really noticeable because of this huge angle on the back section here. It definitely feels interesting when you're walking. Heel toe transition feels a little bit different, way different than the 350s and exactly as you'd expect because of the curvature of uh, the midsole. I would say for the fit on these, as somebody that has a little bit wider feet than probably the average, true to size is a little bit snug. I wore paper thin Adidas socks on these things and they definitely felt snug. That being said, if you get stuck with a pair that is a little bit too snug, you can always do what I recommend and pull out the insole. It gives you a little bit of extra wiggle room in the shoe and honestly makes just the perfect adjustment for myself. Half the time I take them out if they're just too snug, especially like the Adidas Ultra Boost or the Yeezy 350s. So pro tip for those that didn't know, take out the insoles if they fit too snug. Otherwise, I would actually go up a half a size on these. Personally, if I get another pair, I'll go with a size 10 instead of a 9.5. Just because of the stretchy knit upper, it's just a little bit too snug for me. And so that's my personal recommendation. But watch some other YouTuber videos, try them on in person if you can, which is probably impossible. But the other option is ask people on Twitter or Instagram how they fit and usually people are good. Uh, to reply and everybody has a different opinion because everybody has different feet obviously so overall first impressions on the new yeezy 380 it doesn't roll off the tongue like 350 like 380 is a little bit more difficult to think about i don't know why i like 350 v3 better but 380 it is and the shoe in my opinion looks crazy it's it's definitely like a refreshing new take on the yeezy 350 i love the fact that they're innovating and creating new stuff for us to consume instead of recycling the same color wheel that Kanye has done for the 350 like over and over again. The fact that they have something different in the mix is really, really big. Also my predictions for what Yeezy is doing for uh, Adidas in the future is shifted quite a bit. I thought they would have played it out and that the demand would have dropped, but I feel like they are doing such a good job of bringing out more and more different things and better things to the table. I'm honestly excited for those Yeezy Crocs to give them a try and see how they feel on feet. I'm excited for the 700 V3s. Like there's so many great looking models of the new Yeezys that are coming out. And in my segment on YouTube personally, which is just lifestyle, I'm, I'm really, really excited to see what they end up bringing to the table. But that's my thoughts though. What do you guys think about the new Yeezy 380s? Something you guys are interested in or not? Are you guys looking forward to other colorways releasing? Uh, did you guys snag these? Again, leave a comment in the comment section. I'm really happy I got a pair, honestly. I got them from Yeezy Supply and I did not expect it. I was waiting on that L, it took me two hours, and finally it just ended up adding to cart and checking out really, really fast as soon as it did it, and then soon after it sold out. So uh, again, happy I got these. Leave some comments, let me know what you guys' thoughts are, and uh, if you guys want to like the video, please like the video. If you guys do want to see that comparison video to the 350 V2, sooner than later, actually I'll do a comparison between the 350 v1 v2 and these ones if you guys would like since i have all three of them but that uh is what we have thank you guys for stopping by and watching have a great rest of the day and we will see you guys for some more sneaker videos very soon peace guys